good morning everyone uh, in this session we are going to talk about the android camera right so in our last two sessions we have covered the how to play audio and how to play video in android application right so now today we are going to discuss about how you can capture the image using camera right so you can do lots of thing as you have observed and experienced in today's android camera application they are providing a lots of features right filters and all the options it can so you can also create that kind of application in android by your own right so for that first of all you need to learn how you can access the camera in build camera okay so for that you don't need to require to attach additional hardware and you just need to uh write some code and all that it is already available with you right in android so you just need to learn how you can access that inbuilt camera right so here camera is mainly used to capture a picture and video so we can control camera by using methods of camera api right so android provides a beautiful facility to work with the camera right so there are two ways you can access the camera by using intent or by using camera api so any of the way you are going to use i'm going to show you the demo for by using camera intent right it is very easy guys by writing some line of code you can just access the camera and you are able to capture the image now let's see how you can uh, do that kind of coding for that what are the basic classes required right so here intent we have already discussed but in that intent there are two constants of media store class so with the use of that you can capture the picture and video without using an instance of a camera class right so with the use of these two constant action image capture and action video capture so if you use in with the use of intent with intent you don't need to create any instance of a camera class right you can directly use this and you just uh, access the camera second is a camera it is a main class of camera api suppose if you prefer a second way to use to go for by using camera api so you have to go with the camera apis right surface view surface view is a one view that represent so we have already uh, discussed this particular thing in our audio player class audio player application right so it represents a surface view or a preview of a live camera right so you will see that and the fourth one is a media recorder so it is used to record video using camera and it can also be used to record audio files as well as we have seen in our previous examples of media frameworks right so these are the particular things now suppose if you go for second way instead of intent you have to deal with these particular classes okay and uh, you can learn these particular classes and methods by your own and you can just create the particular application right so we are just going for the intent one so let's discuss how you can create that kind of application so first of all let me open the application okay so for that here in our main activity we have one button and one image view image view is whatever uh, whenever i click on the click image button then it will open my camera right whatever inbuilt camera is there in my emulator that will open whenever i click on capture so it will capture one image and that image will be stored in this particular image view that's it that i want to perform so for that i require one button and i require one image view okay now here you can see that you can do any of the thing you can put the button at last you can put button at the main right so whatever you can do but i am using this one so i am going for this design also now here in permissions you don't need to take any kind of permission okay whenever you are dealing with the uh, camera now let's just jump on to the coding section 
so here as we know that we have one button and we have one image view so you have to do find view by id and you have to register that particular two controls okay now after clicking on a button i want to open the camera application so for that here i need to set on click listener on that particular capture button this is the button name right object and on click i'm using intent over here so it is used to opening the camera so if we are going to create the intent object and here you can see we discuss this action image capture constant of a media store class right so we are passing this into this particular intent constructor okay and that will return intent object here instead of start activity we are going to use one another method that is start activity for result so whenever we are capturing an image right after that it will return something right that image that is going to be return so for that we are going to use start activity for result and that will be stored in our intent object right and here is the request code you have to put this value is greater than equal to 0 you can put any value because it's just a request code but that we, that would that would be unique right now so this is our click event once you click on a button then it will open the particular camera and when you click on camera button then it will take the image and return it over here now what we need to do we need to display that image in a image view so for that here it is returning some result so on activity result method we need to override right and on activity method we are comparing the code if the request code here we have set 100 if it is 100 then successfully our operation is done and we need to just take that result our result is in an image so here we need to go for the bitmap class right so bitmap class is used for the particular image processing so here you just need to get extra and with the use of this key you can just get the image in a image view and you have to set image bitmap with the use of this image view object that's it guys right if you write this much logic okay then you are able to capture the image using in build camera in android application right so let's execute this code so you will get the idea over here so this is our button when i click on it so right now my back mode is there you can just change this particular view by pressing control key right okay suppose if i want to take the image of this particular kitchen then i just need to click okay okay and that image is particularly shown over here as this is emulator if you run your application into your real phone then you can capture any particular image right so that's it guys with the use of this particular uh, intent you can just capture the image